Hi. Yes. Okay. You know I'm recording this, right? Hello there, or welcome back. If this is the first video of mine you've ever watched, then nothing will seem different to you. But if you've watched a few of my other videos, you might notice that I've moved things around. I've been decorating this room, basically. So it's going to sort of slowly change over the year as I decorate more. I've got pictures up on the wall, but you can't see them. You can't see them in the frame. You also can't see Silver's head because she keeps moving out of the way. I have another makeup product review for you today. It's been a hot minute since I did one of these. Actually, I don't know how long it's been. Maybe a few months. I don't tend to keep track of this, but whatever. It's also been a little while since I last spoke to you in a video. Because I'm kind of crazy like that, sometimes I just don't like to. Do you mind? We'll wait. We'll wait for you to be done. Back on topic. I'm here to talk to you about the Rose Lip Tints by Chateau Labiote. Labiote? I still don't know how to pronounce that properly, but whatever. This brand has appeared quite a lot on my channel because I just really like their stuff. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by any of the companies I mentioned in this video. I'm not sponsored by any companies. So there's that. Where am I going with this? I'm just a sucker for cute makeup and these are adorable. You know, I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. I quite often only wear it for I quite often only wear makeup when I'm wearing Lolita fashion or dressed up as a girl, basically, because that's fun to do and I like it. And usually if I was going to review lipsticks, I would have made an effort, put on a dress, got prettied up, but I didn't today for no real reason. Again, I don't, I just don't feel like explaining myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so we're doing this, we're doing this. Anyway, I'm just gonna wear lipstick along with my normal clothes. I think these are a fairly recent release. Dropped one. I think these are a fairly recent release, or at least I only heard about them recently. And by recently, I mean about two weeks ago and I ordered them immediately. I just, it was total impulse purchase. I just saw them and thought, yes, I need that. I want it give to me. So I place my order through Rose Rose Shop, which is where I order most of my makeup and skincare products. They've just been really reliable, so I keep ordering from them. I placed this order on the 7th of February and it arrived to me last weekend, so around the 16th. Yeah, around the 16th of February. So that's just about a week and a day, about a week and a half roughly for shipping and that's shipping from Korea to Scotland. So that's really good, honestly. Like I couldn't have asked for better shipping time than that really. I bought two different colours. I got the red one because I feel like if you're going to wear lipstick or any lip product, you should test it in red first. And I got a sort of peach coral one because I'm a sucker for trends so I really like this whole never work with animals <laughs> that was bad advice I would work with you every day yes yes I work with you every day I love you I love you you're my best friend I'll move over so that you can see Silver better. Don't worry, I'm fully aware that she's the star of this channel. Ah! 
That was gross. <laughs> We're trying to talk about lipstick. Okay, back to the subject at hand. I'm sorry I keep getting distracted, but you know, I love her. I love her so much. Where were we? Two colors, red because you should always have red lip products and a peach coral one because that's this year's trendy color and I'm a total sucker for trends like I just am you know as soon as I sort of saw reports the an announcement I saw reports about how coral and peach were like this year's color and instantly my brain was like yes great I now think those are great colors and I love them and they're so pretty I can't I can't claim it's anything other than being really suggestible. I'm really suggestible. So anyway, I'm on this peach and pink sort of kick now. And everyone else will be too by the end of the year. As is my usual drill with makeup reviews, I am going to put one of these on. I'm going to wear it all day. And then I'm going to come back to you tonight and film the rest of this video and let you know how well it stayed on. I just need to choose which colour to wear today. I think I'm going to go with the red because you should always test the red first, right? These bottles are really cute in that they open from the top and the stem of the rose becomes like a handle for the brush. And I think that's the longest handle I've ever seen on a lip tint's brush. And it's kind of, it's really easy to use. I never thought much about that before, but it's actually really nice. And they have to sit on your desk kind of that way up. They don't balance very well, but they're cute enough that I don't really care that they don't balance properly. How does that look? No, while it's fresh. I quite like it. I like the sort of gradient lip look. I do have a whole other makeup look planned for these where I'll put them on entirely as lipstick and those makeup looks are going to be sort of rose based and quite extreme and I'll do a, one of my makeup videos about it but I'm waiting on some other products arriving before I do those and I'll review those other products first and then do the makeup videos or whatever. You don't need to know my thought process. The point is I do have other more extreme makeup looks planned based around the rose theme and hopefully I'll do that soon. You okay back there? Okay, on that note, I'll be back tonight. I will let you know how well my lipstick stayed on. Hopefully I'll eat something that challenges it. I'm thinking ramen, maybe. That feels like it would put some lip lipstick to the test. We'll see. Okay, I will be back in just a second for you and a few hours for me. Good evening. It has been several hours. I don't know how many because that clock up there has stopped and I keep looking at it and confusing myself. Anyway, it's the evening now. I've been wearing this all day. Well, I was wearing it. Now it's gone. It didn't really stay on that well, but I did eat ramen. A lot of ramen. I ate my own one and then I finished my boyfriend's one. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. So, basically my usual verdict for pretty much everything by Chateau Labiot that I've ever reviewed is it's it works well enough, it's makeup, like it's not permanent. It's, it's cute though, you know, it's nice to use, it's fun. Buy it for the packaging because 
cheap makeup is cheap makeup, you know. And I would rather have makeup that's fun to use than posture about the quality and the fact that it might stay on all day forever because honestly no makeup is going to stay on all day forever and I don't think I want or need it to. I'm fine with just having stuff that's cute. That's how I feel about that. If you agree with me then great. If you don't then great. That's fine too. Either way leave me a comment. Let me know what you think because comments boost me up in the algorithm. <laughs> no, because it, you know, it's nice to chat with you guys. Thank you as always for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new or if you're already subscribed. Thank you. I hope you like my new room setup. It will evolve over time. So over the course of this year, I'm going to get more pictures and artwork to put up on this wall. I might do a little room tour for you if you'd be interested in that. If you'd like to see that, leave me a comment to tell me so. What else? I think that's everything. Goodbye. Thank you.